Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael. So this video is a bit of a strange one. Uh, I went out last weekend to do some winter camping in the Snow Trekker tent and the Argo. And I guess things conspired against me and it was a, a pretty bad trip. So I ended up not camping out that night. It's very disappointing. So I'll show you a few of the things that actually happened, why I didn't get to camp in the end. I think one of the reasons I want to share this video is just to remind myself that, you know, if things don't go well, there's always an option to get out of trouble before it goes badly. Um, in this situation, I think I did the right thing. Uh, I was disappointed, but there was just so many things that were going wrong. Uh, you don't see half of the, uh, <laughs> the getting stuck and shoveling parts, even with my truck. So I'll let you have a watch and let me know what you think. So we've just arrived to uh, start and load in uh, for our little camping adventure. Uh, it's quite the ordeal actually getting in just to uh, just to this area. The roads were terrible. Uh, the main 16, which uh, goes across kind of east to west across Canada, uh, it's normally a, a two-lane highway, uh, but only one of them was actually ploughed enough to actually drive on. So we had to. Uh, um, actually go pretty pretty slowly temperature is currently minus 24 celsius and it's going to go down to i think it's like minus 33 celsius these are static temperatures too so it is windy so the wind chill probably brings that down quite a bit it's snowing it's going to snow or continue to snow i'm not sure how far the argo is going to make it uh because i don't have the tracks yet however i have ordered them and uh they should be here in a couple of weeks so tracks are in order. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the depth of the snow. I'm really not sure how far I'm going to get in the Argo. Um, we can try and see. Uh, back at plan. I know I should be able to drive somewhere else and maybe just get in and maybe set up the tent and just do a truck tent camp if I can't actually get anywhere with the Argo. So plan B is always uh, available. Uh, but I'm hoping that we can make this work, so. Yeah, there's Esme. Hey, Es, you looking forward to getting out? You want to go camping? You want to go in the Argo? Oh, so unfortunately we've already hit a sticky end. Uh, it's just too deep. Like the Argo won't actually go through it. Um, hit the spot already. I'm going to have to winch out because uh, it's not going to work any other way. I'm, I'm pretty much buried. So that's not cool. Uh, Got to try and decide what to do. Might try and get a little bit further down the trail. I can get out of this. I have to dig my way out. Uh, but I think we're going to have to uh, go for plan B, perhaps. 
So anyway, let's uh, let's get the Argyle winched out. Uh, so unfortunately, that was uh, it's too deep for the Argo. I got probably about five minutes into the trail, and it's literally taken me an hour to get out. Just digging and winching and digging, just horrendous. So at least I know the limits. Uh, those tracks couldn't arrive soon enough. Pretty, that was hard work. But uh, if you don't try, so we're gonna have to go to Plan B because I still want to camp out. Uh, I'm going to load up the Argo again to the truck and I'll see if I can get to one of my old camp spots where I can get in a little bit uh, close with the truck but even the truck's going to get stuck and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't bring any chains with me because obviously I'm driving with the Argo. Uh, so yeah, I'm not giving up. Let's get loaded up and then we can so you can find another spot. It's not going to be as remote as typically I do camp, but you know what? I just want to be out. It's going to be cold tonight. I want to test everything out and just enjoy the tent. So, so we've arrived somewhere and it's not anywhere that I would normally choose, but our options are very limited today. It's, uh, it's been crazy. Just getting stuck, digging out, stuck, digging out. Uh, we ended up just pulling off the side of the road here and um, we're probably, I don't know, 50 meters from the, the road. So I can see the truck and I'll, I'll show you. So we're, we're not in the middle of nowhere, uh, although it is still a beautiful spot. Uh, this will have to do. It's, uh, it's this choice, I either camp here or I basically go home. So here it is. I don't want to drive that two and a half hours all the way home without actually... Uh, doing camping and actually getting some some videos to show with you guys so I'm afraid it's not quite the trip I had planned I definitely need the tracks in the Argo um, and they can't come soon enough now it's just been a traumatic I'm actually already exhausted from all the the digging and shoveling uh, so I'll just show you uh, what we're looking at So I'm going to go ahead and get the tent set up. Um, I think I'm just going to get it set up because it's like super cold. I think Esme's getting cold too and I'm getting cold. So uh, the cameras won't last long enough for me to get it up. So I'm just going to rush it up. Uh, I'll link a video of showing me putting the tent up uh, if you're interested, but I just need to get it done. I don't want to uh, really suffer too much longer. So there's a big difference between camping out and survival and if I'd gone along that route and gotten stuck it would have been a survival situation uh, that I would have found myself in. I would have been trapped, no way to get back apart from using my snowshoes and uh, I would have been in a position where I couldn't control uh, all the variables so that to me isn't good. I don't think I would have frozen to death, I had enough equipment, food etc. Uh, but now it's gone from being a fun camping trip to being somewhat stressful because I've got myself and Esme in a position where I can't control what's happening. I'm at some disadvantage when it comes to deciding when and where I, I exit and I may have to rely on other people, which is not good. So the next trip will be on foot and we'll be using the sled uh, to pull all the gear in and we'll do an overnighter and I don't see that there'll be any problems this time around, hopefully. So, until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.